Five times the championship leaders changed this season. What will happen now as it's lights out and away we go. Bottas gets a decent start, as does Hamilton. Verstappen can't dive down the inside. Leclerc's keeping him company as Hamilton takes the lead into the first corner from Valtteri Bottas. There's Sergio Perez and Charles Leclerc going wheel to wheel as they go round turn two. But it's Hamilton from Bottas from Verstappen, then the Ferrari of Leclerc. Then comes Perez and behind them, Lando Norris ahead of Pierre Gasly. Perez got oh so close to running into the back of his teammate. Max Verstappen had a lockup, was desperate to try to get around the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. Didn't make that happen, but he would have been terrified as he was heading towards the back of the sister Red Bull there. That is Mick Schumacher into the barrier at the infamous now turn 21-22 complex. We saw Charles Leclerc there in practice. Mick Schumacher has gone into the barriers now. We've got our first safety car of the evening. Are you okay, Mick? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Oh. Yeah, it's very like Charles Leclerc, isn't it? In the back end, stepped out on the way into 22. And I'm afraid you're know, straight into a cul-de-sac at that point, and you can see how well it absorbed it all. Uh, Valtteri is driving massively off the pace. Oh, I agree, it's a absolute That shouldn't be allowed, what he does. Right, so it, the... It's not allowed, it's absolutely not allowed under the regulations, you can't do that. And he's doing that to allow Mercedes the chance for the double stack. Verstappen stays out and takes the lead of this race. Hamilton and Bottas pit. Are Red Bull gambling here on another safety car where Verstappen could come in and get a cheap pit stop again but hold on to the lead? Or could they get caught out? We'll only find out at the end of lap 50. And they're now red flagging the race. And this is now played very much into Red Bull and Max Verstappen's hands because the one thing you can do when the race is suspended and it's red flagged, when you return to the pit lane, you can make your tyre change. It's lights out and away we go again. And Verstappen and Hamilton are going to be neck and neck going into turn one. And Hamilton's got a better start. And Hamilton goes into the first corner as Bottas locks up. Almost hits Verstappen who goes off the track and then forces Hamilton wide as Esteban Ocon gets ahead of Lewis Hamilton and goes into second place. And that's Sergio Perez who's been tagged. And there's another incident involving George Russell. And it's Russell up against the barriers. So Verstappen in the lead from Esteban Ocon and then comes Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton, but they're going to talk about that start again and I wouldn't be at all surprised if we get a second safety car because that was chaos at the start. Perez gets a bit squeezed and gets tagged yeah. from behind. Yes, he does. Is yeah, that... three into two doesn't go. Critical for the Constructors' Championship as well. Very much so. Oh, oh no. I'm going to give you the opportunity uh, based on what occurred at turn one, two. We would drop you back behind Hamilton. I understood. That, that is my offer. Uh, yeah, we'll accept that. We understand the order will be Ocon, Hamilton, Verstappen. That is correct. As the lights on, lights out, and away we go. And Ocon ahead of Hamilton, but not by much. Verstappen's going to go down the inside. There's three of them and Hamilton and Ocon touch. But they keep going and Verstappen now ahead of Lewis Hamilton. He picked his moment, he picked the right moment. And Verstappen takes the lead of the race ahead of Ocon and Hamilton. As down the main straight we come, and Lewis Hamilton pulls out to the left-hand side and gets past Esteban Ocon. He had the pace, that was easy. His next overtake, if it happens, might be a whole different ball game. He'll get the DRS here. And Lewis and, and he's got the slipstream too, Martin, and he is gaining, and he is gaining, and he is gaining on Max Verstappen. He's going to go for the move here. Lewis Hamilton trying to get into the lead of the race. They go wheel to wheel into the first corner. Verstappen has to bail out. Lewis Hamilton has to bail out. Verstappen ends that sequence with a bigger lead over Lewis Hamilton. Max doesn't like to yield, does he? He'll use any part of the racetrack. Yeah, that is crazy, man. Max, so let's give the position back to Hamilton. Do that strategically. Oh, they've touched the and they've back. collided. Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton. How much damage on Hamilton's Mercedes? What has happened there? Verstappen being told to give the place back to Lewis Hamilton. Slowed down on the straight. Hamilton ran into the back of the Red Bull. Just what is going on here in Jeddah tonight? Max left a lot of space to the inside. 
but then he accelerated immediately away from it again, didn't he? I, I think it was just right a now. misunderstanding. I think it was a misunderstanding, frankly. Well, here comes Valtteri Bottas. There's no misunderstanding about his pace. He's trying to get past Daniel Ricciardo and into turn one, manages to keep the car under control. Right, so there we're we on board with Hamilton and Verstappen clearly slowing down. This yeah. is the DRS zone. Yeah. And Max Verstappen, after letting Lewis Cancel pass, me. now goes for a lunge down Cancel the inside and retakes the lead of the race. So he let Hamilton pass. Hamilton scooted past. And Max Verstappen has a five second time penalty for leaving the track and gaining an advantage. So he might have the lead of this race but he's got a five second time penalty. And this is the first time that the stewards room itself has got involved to give an official penalty. Hamilton and Verstappen going for it again and going for it again at turn 27. And Hamilton has now got past Verstappen. Lap 43 of this race, Hamilton now leads from Max Verstappen. Hamilton is going to give us level pegging in the championship as he comes home to win the first Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. It's Hamilton and Mercedes on top. It's Hamilton and Verstappen finishing 1-2 and sharing the top two places for the 13th time this season. But can now Esteban Ocon hang on to Valtteri Bottas and come home and complete that podium trio. He's got a little bit of DRS assistance to help his pace. They are racing to the line and Bottas has got Esteban Ocon right at the line. And by a tenth of a second, Mercedes get both their drivers on the podium. It is now the 30th title decider at the final race of the season. The fourth in Abu Dhabi. It is only seven days away. What a night tonight.